I'm Mary Lou Proudfoot for Investment Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Guinea Resources, a Canadian-based mineral exploration company with gold and base metal projects in northern Sweden, has provided highlights from 2021 and outlined plans for 2022. Yari Paki, CEO, stated, Our plan for 2022 is to build upon Guineer's 2021 high-grade nickel results, which were some of the top near-surface nickel drill intercepts reported in the junior sector last year. We are planning to allocate more than three-quarters of our available exploration funds on nickel, with most of the planned drilling directed at our LapVatNet nickel project targeting further high-grade nickel shoots. We also have an impressive new gold target at Nafton, which we plan to drill test with a few holes. The company has three projects. The company's two nickel-copper cobalt deposits, LapVatNet and Rormi Burgett, both with updated nickel resources and the Nafton project, which hosts a developing intrusion-hosted gold system along with zinc-copper and copper-nickel VMS targets, all of which are open for expansion and further discovery. The properties are accessible year-round with good transportation and industrial infrastructure, including shipping facilities and are located about an hour drive from Boleden's mill complex. In 2020, the company updated resources at both nickel-copper-cobalt deposits, which collectively total 177 million pounds of nickel. LapVatNet hosts an inferred resource of 780,000 tonnes, grading 1.35% nickel for 23.1 million pounds of nickel. Rormi Burgett hosts an inferred resource of 36,800,000 tonnes, grading 0.19% nickel for 154 million pounds of nickel. At LapVatNet, the Phase 1 drill program covered just 20% of the total strike length. A Slingham survey completed in late 2021 outlined a near-surface untested twin electromagnetic conductor 100 metres north of the LapVatNet nickel resource. Consistent shallow drill hits of high grade and wide zones of nickel mineralization include drill hole LAP 2102, with 3.19% nickel over 4.25 metres, within a 10.4 metre interval grading 1.51% nickel starting at 45 metres. Hole lap 2105 returned 2.62% nickel over 5.65 meters within a 14.0 meter interval grading 1.40% nickel starting at 60 meters. Hole lap 2113 returned 1.74% nickel over 10.0 meters from 21 meters. Hole lap 2104 returned 36.0 meters, grading 0.93% nickel from 49 meters. This table shows additional results. At Nafton, one of the largest gold and till anomalies in Sweden, the company expanded the property to cover the entire favorable host rock, a 4x5 kilometer intrusion. The company also completed an IP geophysical survey over parts of the expanded area, which outlined a very significant IP chargeability anomalies within the intrusion. In 2022, the company plans initial testing of new IP anomalies, which has not seen any previous exploration upon receipt of drill permits and approvals. At LapVatNet, the company plans to drill up to 4,000 meters to test for further high-grade nickel shoots along strike, down plunge and down dip of 2021 drill holes, plus the twin North EM conductor. This will start in late spring as conditions allow. At Rormi Burgett, the company plans to evaluate and prioritize targets, with the timing of drilling to be determined. The company anticipates additional financings during 2022. The shares are trading at 11 cents. For more information and to view the company's new presentation, please visit the company's website, guinearesources.com, contact Yari Paki, CEO, by email at jpaki at eastlink.ca or Chris Robbins, CFO, at 604-683-0484 or email robbinscr at shaw.ca. I'm Mary Lou Proudfoot for Investment Pitch Media.